explained to the first judge, you know, that she was misled. And then we went to a second judge who released me from prison and canceled the uh, condition that I'd be barred, you know, from within a hundred meters of the center here. So right. that's how I was able to come back here. And that's protected by the police now. That's great. Incredible. I mean, the discourse is slowly changing. I mean, people are still being censored for saying things, but I think that you're not saying anything anti-Semitic. And that's, and it's, my friend was writing, wrote an op-ed because he said some group from Montreal tried to make anti-Semitism or they made it in the criminal code as like a separate crime. And he's like, it's not different. Like our pain isn't different than Muslims pain or hate crimes are hate crimes. Mm. Like, you know, when you exceptionalize Jewish pain, that's what makes people tribal and that's what makes people commit another genocide. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, to water to four <laughs> because I have to be with my family, but uh, it's uh, positive that somebody is going to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Jews don't do anything on no, yeah. uh, the 24th, so they should be here. I don't have much of a family anyway, you know? Uh, like, uh, I have, have what do I have family. left in my family now? I have three cousins in Toronto, mm -hmm. two of whom don't even talk to me because they're so Zionist. Right. And I have one son here who is alienated. He's alienated from you? Yeah. Because being Jewish and being poor was too tough, and he blamed it all on me. Okay, so. What, where does he live now? Somewhere, Moria. So. Uh, and ex-wife. Hi. Uh, Mother okay. of your son. What? Mother of your son. Oh, we we split up. You know, like a couple of years after he was born, she was schizophrenic. She was an artist, you know, but she was schizophrenic. I well, maybe you'll find a new family in Nablus. In Nablus? Uh, yeah, I can start another life, you know, but I have to get there. But I love being in Nablus, you know, that I can be so effective there, you know. Right. I thought I could be effective here too, but, you know, I'm still... Well, if you ever take a trip down to Toronto, you come to the protest and yell yes. your heart out. Okay. You know, in the 70s, we had an occupation of the Israel Consulate, mm. you know, twice. Yeah. Here? No, in Centrano. In Toronto, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah. You know, I started off in Toronto, and then I and then I was, and then I went to Ottawa because I was working with the Palestine Embassy during the War of '82 to '85, and I was uh, like a chargé d'affaires, you know, because I, I could write in good English and nobody else could, you know, and you know all Fatah, you know, a diplomatic corps, they had no good English writer. It was really incredible. But then we started, you know, a lot of campaigns, you know, mm -hmm. writing for. Letters to the Editor, and, and then I wrote a book there called On Saba Shatira, a documentary study. Okay. And that yeah, book is in that. here as well. Okay. Yeah. Can get a job in teaching? Oh, I, I was teaching at York University nice. prior to that, and I left York. I was teaching in political science and social and political thought, a course on political economy of Canada US relations, and another one on political theory. And then after working in Ottawa, And then after working in the embassy. Make her sign <laughs> oh, she does. She want a pen? No, but uh, she says I'm um, a good boy. It's okay. It's okay for me to do everything. <laughs> but uh, she put me here. She took some uh, seconds to listen to money while we are here. Oh, well, this is good. This is good. There yeah, you go. yeah. It holds up it the. It took a few weeks to figure <laughs> it out. I don't need another arm. <laughs> Um, he has some more postcards that I gave him. Yes, yeah. thank you. Um, try to, if people are like, yeah, I'm on board, be like, do you want to sign? Yeah, I have one. Because I, you, you, have, you have a you pen? You know yes, people will take it home and not do anything. Okay. You have a pen? No, you know people will take it home and not do anything. Yeah. And they'll be polite. So if they're not on board and don't want to sign, no problem. But keep the postcards because you don't have a lot. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, obviously very in control of the postcards. Uh, this is so, we want to make sure they actually go in the mail, you know, and not on Sundays. Okay, okay, 
so I get that. Thank you. Thank you, you get the for your to do presence that. here. Oh yeah. yeah well. It's, it's a very encouraging considering the lack of you know uh, it's crazy. support. Otherwise. I thought oh maybe I'll see friends from my childhood mm. that have like come to the other side. Mm. Uh, yeah. So there's been no Jewish protests. Well, they were with a Jewish was... contingent at the Palestinian protests, right? Do you go to the PYM protests, the Palestinian ones? I went to the first six protests, uh -huh. and the independent Jewish forces didn't even show up for the first five demonstrations. So then... But I saw Hasidic like, people at the... The Natura Karta showed up, yes. Yeah. But they don't come, they don't intervene inside the Jewish community. You know, they're, they'll go to Iran, you know, but they won't, you know, come here. I've invited them. I know I guess, Rabbi Stern here. I guess we don't do that much in the Jewish community. We do, like, we did, like, a hand kind of lighting. We didn't have any rabbis, but... Well, the major initiative that I want to do I mean, across Canada... this isn't Canada, really in the Jewish community. It's just saying, like, hey, I'm Jewish, and I... Yeah. Like, you're just at a Jewish place. I know. That's standard. Yeah, it's not... But I think uh, once we are, you know, uh, healthier organizations, bigger, stronger organizations, I think we should put together a call for a plenary uh, convocation of a plenary of the Canadian Jewish Congress to decide on whether or not, you know, we're supporting uh, supporting genocide and have an official sort of Jewish denunciation. Mm. You know, that would be very powerful. Then they'd have to pay Never attention to that. Never going to happen. <laughs> uh, not this year. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, where is my sister's house that I have to go to? Maybe I know the direction. Yeah, she's in Westmount. I'll oh. just take a look. Uh -huh. do, do you have another macaron? <laughs> Ceasefire macaron? <laughs> no, this is mine. No, oh, she has one. Bag? Yeah. Oh. No. no. But there's so much swag. We have like Juicy Note of Genocide t-shirts. We have hats. Like, it's insane. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> um, 57 ones. When feel... you're back in Toronto then, yes. um, uh, send me a message and uh, well, send this night with the photos and, too, uh, and 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 uh, list you know what what materials you have available sure. and then I'll order stuff you know to be used here and yeah. pay for it. Yeah, no worries. I mean, we have even templates of all the postcards. Oh. Um, I think they're in a drive that like people have been uh, sending us money to print, but yeah, people can print them. And I've been putting them in a few stores. I have to go do some more in my end. I think. Mm. So I did some in uh, Okay, no problem. Not in our name. Palestinian Lives Matter too. I don't want to talk to you guys. Have a nice day. Hello. 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 I'll order. So you're an anarchist. That's how you would describe yourself? No. No. Bundist. I don't know what Bundist is. I'll have to look it up. The Jewish Bund was the uh, Jewish Bundist uh, was the Jewish anti-fascist, you know, socialist movement okay. of Eastern Europe. That was the, f the biggest Jewish organization, a revolutionary like socialist, 19... thirty-eight thousand members and all that. And then all of the uh, members, you know, were killed during the Holocaust. And a few escaped, like my mother. Her brother was a partisan, and then he was killed when he was after being conscripted into the Red Army. Not in our name. Palestinian lives matter too. Yeah. Everybody's life matter. Yes.